With us now is David Malpass, president of Encima Global and a former chief economist at Bear Stearns. Also uh, has worked at the White House, so you've had so much experience. And normally we talk about the Fed and economic issues with you, but I just want to start off by asking uh, your reaction to Steve Jobs because he has been such uh, a huge figure in uh, in the country, in the world, in technology. And you you're, you're uh, someone who thinks that people, individuals, really do make a difference. That's right. As you look at the course of history, uh, there, there are certain moments where individuals step up and make a difference, and he's clearly one who did. So the tech community will, will it's a loss to the tech community. Uh, and there aren't too many figures like that. If you, if you add up over, over the last 50 years or so and say what 10, what 20 people mattered a lot, he'd be in that category. And so it's, uh, it's sad to see him go. Let's talk about uh, Ben Bernanke in that case. I mean, he's an individual who's had a big effect on the way we think about right. finance, about the markets. Um, what do you expect from him on Friday? Does he continue to come out with something that is game changing? Uh, you know, I don't think he needs to or wants to be game changing on Friday. They had a pretty aggressive FOMC statement uh, in, early in the month, uh, and so he can build on that. They said they've considered the tools that they have uh, and, and will use them as appropriate. So I think he'll go through his catalog of tools. I would like to see him talk about growth for the country, break away from the monetary policy, and just talk to the nation of how do we get growth, uh, you, you know, put your economist hat on and stop being the central banker. Uh, but I, I'm afraid he'll probably stay in the central banker mode and talk about, uh, you know, velocity of money or whatever he, uh, whatever he thinks appropriate. I don't think he'll be very clear about what the Fed's next steps are. I think they may be comfortable with where they are right now having laid out their arsenal, uh, they'll, they'll watch the data, which is what they tend to do. I, of course, would like to see them say they want the dollar to be a strong and stable currency. Though they've uh, gone the other way with their actions, right? I mean, QE2, one of the things that did was just drive down the, the value of the dollar and drive up uh, commodities, especially gold. Th that's right. I think it's been a horrible uh, experience for the U.S. to have the weakening dollar because then people take their money to Asia. They take their money into gold. Uh, they've been dumping money into treasury bonds on the idea that there's so much capital flight from the U.S. that it's going to destabilize the global system. That's Bernanke's on Bernanke's watch. So he should stand up to that and say, this doesn't make sense. I'm not going to uh, destroy the U.S. dollar. I'm for a strong and stable dollar. He won't say that. Uh, and I think we'd be much better off as a country if he would. Is there something, uh, you know, you outlined a couple of things that he might do lower the interest paid on excess reserves, move into the, end, uh, the, the far end of the, of the curve as far as buying treasuries. Is there something that he could do you think that would be helpful? And are those two things? I think those are tinkering on the margin. Now, he won't, let's be clear, uh, at Jackson Hole, he won't do anything. He kind of uh, discusses his own personal views, not the views of the committee. So it's a chance for him to go beyond what the committee might be saying. Uh, but uh, And so two of the specific tools would be pretty minor. Uh, one is to tinker, with the, right now they pay 25 basis points for excess reserves. Uh, that's well above the Fed funds rate. So arguably they could pull that rate down or say that that's the direction they want to go. And, and the second thing is the Fed has a giant portfolio. So some people have wanted them to move out of the short stuff uh, that they still hold and move much longer in their duration. I think both would be, uh, or I think that would be a bad move. The Fed should not be lengthening its duration, but we'll see. Uh, some people would say, ah, that'll flatten the yield curve. Uh, I think it would just raise red flags. It, that would send gold higher, I think, if the Fed starts going longer term. Got it. David, thanks so much for joining us. David Malpass there from Encima Global.